Hello, this is Chad Riffle from the K-12 ETA with a video tutorial showing you a quick way to grade multiple bubble answer sheets by collecting the bubble sheets and scanning them to one file that can be graded in less than a minute. Alright, so you just finished administering your assessment on bubble sheets like these and you're looking for how to get them into Illuminate. We have two choices. The first option is to use the uh, camera, the webcam, to grade them and have the students individually come up, hold the picture, and uh, have it graded that way. Uh, the second option, which is actually a lot faster if you have a lot of students, is to collect the answer sheets into a pile like this and then scan that pile into a PDF file. Then you take that PDF file, upload it into Illuminate, and it will automatically grade them for you. It's an excellent, quick way to grade a lot of bubble sheets all at once. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you how to do that. There are three steps to using the Grade with Scan feature in Illuminate. The first step is to collect the answer sheets from your students and then create a PDF file with all of the answer sheets, one big bulk upload. For the second step, you're going to log into Illuminate and open up the assessment that you administered and then upload the file, PDF file into your Illuminate assessment. And the final step is to review the upload and check to ensure that the data uploaded properly. Because there are so many different ways to complete the first step, I'm going to skip over that um, creating the PDF file. Your best way to do that at your school is to Go to your uh, copying machine, uh, scan the answer sheets in bulk, and have your copying machine email you the PDF file. So I'm actually skipping to the step where you have the PDF file. Now I have the PDF file right here, and I call it answersheet2.pdf. Now that I have that answer sheet file, I'm going to go into Illuminate. I'm going to load up the assessment that I want to upload. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the scanning answer sheets example. You're going to load up the assessment. And if you've never administered the assessment before, you can just click on Grade from Scanner right here under Administer. If you've already given the assessment, you'll have to find in the gray bar the word Administration. Hit the drop down menu and find Grade from Scanner. Now, what you're seeing is where this blue box right here is where you're going to put the file that you want to upload. So you can do that two ways. You can click on the upload a file in the blue bar and then find the file that you want to upload. So if I scan through the files I have, answer sheet 2pdf I would click on that and that would put it in there. The other option would have been I could grab the file off my desktop like so and drag and drop it on there. You see it has a little plus. So you have two different ways to get the file in. Now you'll see that there's a green check mark here that means it's been uploaded and you'll also see that down at the bottom here the status says finished. It says it was uploaded April 12, 2018 finished. That means that I've successfully uploaded this answer sheet PDF file. If I go into actions here and I go review all sheets, I can check to see how my students do. This particular student had DA and it's blue barred here so it's kind of saying hey there might be something wrong. When I look at it and I review it, it looks good. I can go to the next student. Same thing, looks good. Go to the next student. Go through all the students and once I've reviewed all the students I know I'm good and I can in the bar here go back to grade by scanner. Now, I've uploaded the file, I've checked to make sure that the answers were correct, and then right here where it says review student work, it says that it's all taken care of but you're going to need to review it by clicking on the enter edit page. And when I click on the enter edit page, it takes me to my filtering options. I only want to see the students with data because I didn't put in data for all of my students. I click find students. And here are the five students who I administered the assessment to, the date they took it, the version of the assessment, and then their answers for questions one, two, and three. I have successfully uploaded my file, checked the data to make sure it uploaded properly, and now my assessment 
is complete.